Hi, in this video I'll demonstrate how to install and run pgadmin using the Python package. First of all we visit the pgadmin website and click on the download link. Then click on the Python option. You'll see that the page gives us a number of commands that we need to run to install and set everything up. So we'll start by copying and pasting those. First of all, we're going to create the directories that are going to be used for pgadmin storage and for its log files. Now we're going to make sure that we can actually write to those directories. Now that's done, we need to create a Python environment in which to run pgadmin4. We're going to use a virtual environment so this doesn't affect any installations of Python on the system. So the command here is going to be using our Python 3 interpreter and it's going to create a VM and it's going to be called pgadmin4 and saved in the current directory. You can adjust that path however you like. Now we need to activate the virtual environment so that everything we do in Python is going to be running from that environment. Now we can use the pip install command to download and install pgadmin. This will also install any Python dependencies that may be required. There we go. Right, now we can just run pgadmin. The first time we run it, it will configure itself and set everything up so that it can run in server mode. We need to create an initial username and password to log into the system. Additional user accounts can be added later through the UI. At this point, there's pgadmin running. So we can copy and paste the URL, open up a browser tab, and log in. We'll check on the help menu and just ensure that the online help is working fine. There we go, everything looks good there. If you need to add additional users, you can do so from the menu at the top right. Just click on your, your username and then click users and add any additional users that you need. And there we go, PG Admin running under Python in a virtual environment. In a production environment, it's not a good idea to run pgadmin directly in Python as shown here. If you check the documentation, you'll find in the server deployment section there are examples of how you can use Nginx, Apache, or Whiskey servers such as MuWiskey and Unicorn to host the application for you. Thank you.